Hey, what's going on Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. And this one will be real exciting. I'm gonna do this as two separate videos, being one with a sit down jet ski, how you do it, and one with the stand up jet ski. So I had a company come out and reach me called Hydro Silex, and they make different products for cars, marine related, and they said they sent me out and they said they should shoot a video and um, try out this stuff. And the cool thing is if you put in the checkout, Code all caps BayWolf, you get 40% off your order on all the marine related products. So uh, I know for a while people have been asking me about the ceramic coating doing that, and I've been, you know, they send it out to me, I'll try it out and see how it is. This stuff looks like a really nice product because it comes in a really giant bottle. I mean, you're getting a lot of it, which is really nice. And for jet skis, I mean, you're not going to come close to using all this. A boat, you'd use a, probably a lot more coating. And you have the uh, wax and grease removal. I actually just recently, probably in like a couple of months, just waxed the thing. So it's nice they sent that up. So I can, what you got to first do is spray all that down, make sure that's all gone off of it. And um, this whole video is going to show you how to do it. You know, removing the, the wax, prepping it, and then doing the ceramic coating. Now, I'm not sure if I'm planning on doing it. I probably won't be, my opinion, every has their own. I wouldn't be ceramic coating below the water line, especially this being a stand-up. <sighs> this thing's already difficult and high current, and I, I really don't want to make it worse. Yeah, uh, maybe on certain parts on the the GP when I make that video, I'll probably do it. But being that it's a stand-up, I don't think it's wise with doing it. Everybody can do their own. I'm doing everything above the water line with this whole process. Uh, just because this thing is a lot more fragile of riding that even when I waxed it, I don't even, I didn't even wax it below the water line. Um, you could do it. Everybody has their own opinion of what they're doing. We'll see how it goes. Maybe what the heck, let's do it and just see how it, what all happens. Um, you know, it's a real nice ski, super clean. And so the first step is, like I said, they call this the rewind and it's a wax and grease remover. The nice, they sent some of these nice um, microfiber towels that they sell and make. So that's really nice, really nice quality there too. Let's pull out one of them to see how they look. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of them. This is nice, they show a whole thing of how you um, do this whole process. So what we're doing first is the rewind. So it's pretty easy, straightforward. Spray and even mist onto the clean and dry surface. Use high quality, clean microfiber towels and buff free of residue. Right here, right there. Then the marine hydrosilic marine. So this is the, this would be the ceramic coating. It says spray an even mist onto the clean and dry surface, one small panel section at a time. Immediately buff with a clean microfiber towel in a waving motion. Follow up with a second light using another clean microfiber towel in a waving motion. So it's nice um, that you know you want to make sure you're reusing it. So like when you're using that, you don't use the same on there. So that's, that's why they have a lot of these towels. And it's real important. So uh, what they're saying is do small panels. So you don't just start spraying this, whoosh, you know, like all over. You do small little sections. Now I'm curious to see how this product will work on graphics. When I waxed it with other brands, I've never had an issue. So maybe they'll make the graphics look a little bit nicer. Uh, that's the hard thing with jet skis is a majority of the ski is graphics. Uh, there's not a lot of bare paint. And we're kind of transitioning from like a lot of different colors. We got silver, we got green, we got white, we got painted white, uh, we got black. So we'll kind of start in a whole section and I'll show you guys a video of how this whole process of doing it. It's something you can do yourself. I know I'm looking at some of these things where people are posting about doing ceramic coating and they're paying people to do it. This is really easy. It's a jet ski, guys. It's not a big giant boat. It takes a little bit of time. Not that hard to do. Nice thing with this is it's going to be uh, easy with the with the pull all the way up. 
Uh, I can move it down into certain things, but let's get it going. And it's the whole process first is removing off all the residue. I cleaned this the last time I used it. And um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Just a quick thing I want to give a shout out to. I um, do free monthly giveaways. It's totally free to enter. Just have to be subscribed to the channel. Uh, subscribe to I'm Beowulf, Beowulf Nation. Uh, and then follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. Or if you don't do the whole Insta thing, give me a follow then on Facebook at my Facebook page, I am Beowulf. I got really cool merch at IamBeowulf.com, so make sure you check that out. Also too, I have an Amazon store. You can find cool things. I actually just got this as a gift, but it's on the Amazon store. And it's real nice, because when you want to be, especially this whole process with this, you don't have to be standing all the time. And my Amazon store is amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Special big shout out to them. If you want to pick up any of this product, you have to go with the promo code is hydrosilic.com. I'll have it all in the video where it is and in the description where you guys can pick this stuff up. Promo code, all caps, Beowulf. All right, so I got some of this already sprayed on here. And then you just do a waving motion and let's remove. Real easy to do. Give it a little spray around there. This you can spray a lot more areas because you're kind of going into um, doing a bigger area. The ceramic coating, you don't you want to do small little sections at a time. Don't be going crazy. Got to patience. As much as people want to get stuff done as fast as possible, this gotta have some patience. I always find doing detailing and stuff like this a lot of fun. Just just in general, it's just, I think it's just a, a lot of fun just getting into different areas and doing this is just, I think it's just fun detailing and cleaning. And I always like do different types of ways of cleaning after every ride. Most times I do, because I ride quite frequent, you know, I'll spray like some of the soap and then have towels and I just kind of wipe it down, you know, where it's not like your hand scrubbing it. If I wasn't going to be riding for a fair amount of months and stuff, like let's say if you're somewhere you lived where you couldn't ride year round, then I would be doing it, you know, where a really good with a, you know, microfiber sponge and all that kind of stuff so like i said everybody lives in different areas and there's just different ways you would do stuff just because of the climate you live in um i used to live in the midwest and i think now it's like freezing temperatures i think a couple weeks ago it was pretty warm there my family were telling me how hot it was and i was like don't don't get used to it it's gonna be gone sure enough so people posting photos of them looking like they're like freezing with knit caps and all that. And it was like 80 degrees today. Actually, and shorts, a t-shirt, you tank, yeah, uh, shorts, t-shirts, and um, sandals. It's pretty comfortable in here right now. It's not too hot in the garage. I didn't have to open it up because at night we've been having a lot of mosquitoes. I don't want a bunch of bugs getting on this thing when I'm cleaning it. So you want to make sure you get everywhere where it's, you know, there's none of this re residue left. So you might sometimes have to re-wipe in areas that you wiped just because um, you might have sprayed over there. Sometimes people are always a little nervous doing something new for once. To me, just go for it. All right, so I did the lower parts on both sides too quite fast for doing it because it's a stand-up. It's not much. I did the hand pull. 
Now, I was just reading some stuff, and I just wanted, to, before we get to the whole ceramic coating, let's talk about some stuff, because there's some big things. Let's talk about warning. It says, uh, it can cause serious eye irritation wearing protective clothing, gloves, harmful if swallowed in case of contact with eyes, remove contacts, flush eyes immediately with water for 15 minutes of swallowed, seek immediate medical attention, do not store below 32 to 90 degrees. So probably most likely you want to store this stuff in your house, not in your garage. Also too, do not apply in direct sunlight, obviously, you shouldn't do that even with wax. Uh, do not leave recharge in, in, to air dry on smooth surface, always clean microfiber towels for more applications. Instructions, visit hydrosilic.com. Uh, so it shows that what you can apply this onto. So, uh, well, the protection of contaminants, UV rays, oxidation, uh, hydrosilic recharge can be applied with bare metal, stainless steel, Aluminum, glass, plastic, fiberglass, stone, marble, tiles, and more. So you could, you could apply this like on an aluminum trailer. This is a brand new trailer. I'm actually gonna be selling this trailer and um, I'm actually selling it and either I'm gonna put it back on the original steel trailer or I have a Trident Elite trailer. Um, Cause I'm not sure if I'm actually keeping this thing up. I actually pulling off a little side off thing. I'm pulling off the um, Reba Racing sponsors. I think it's half of what is causing the big issues with the ski. And I'm going to be getting soon in the next few days um, the JC Racing sponsors. I'll have a mid sponsor in the back, bigger paddle. Cause these are kind of small paddles. I had an R and D but there wasn't a lot of adjustment to it. And these are really small paddles. So I'm actually gonna be selling that. So that's thus far. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with the ski, but maybe I'll keep it on the trailer. I don't know. I'm just, but maybe I'll ceramic coat it in another video. It'd be a whole separate video, ceramic coating a trailer. Maybe you guys would be interested in that because there you can see a lot of oxidation actually in the trailer from spraying. So it might be worth doing a video showing you guys how that is. And I have, this is a new trailer. This is a new one. One of these are 2020, one's a 2021, and then I got the Triton Elite one. And I'll pull that in the garage one day and we'll do a whole video showing how to do uh, this whole process on the trailers too, because they're aluminum. I, you could do it on a steel trailer. Um, maybe I'll do that too. We got a lot of stuff. Uh, so figured to show that. So obviously you want to put gloves on. I was going to put gloves on no matter what. And uh, if it says it in the thing, you can put eye protection on. Um, usually I'd be doing this stuff wearing my glasses anyways, but uh, we'll see how it sprays out. It shouldn't have to worry about it. It really controlled, but yeah. So here's the gloves and uh, let's get knocking this out. And you can see here too, I, I really didn't use a lot of that stuff. So you can make it go, you know, a little go a long way. And um, you just, you just want to take a walk through because I'm seeing there's a little right there. So it looks like you could actually do this on all the plastic, which is because um, I have seen there's a little bit of oxidation from the last time cleaning this. So let's try it on. We're going to see how, let's go little by little and see how it works. All right, so I just did a little test run, just spraying there to see how it was before I started recording. And I like to see how it is. I did it right there. I don't know if you guys can tell. We've got some cool light. Let's be, this is going to be on my Amazon store too. Real nice as a magnet work light LED. So this area I didn't do it. And then you can tell right there is where I did do it. So right where the light's directly at it is where I did do it. And we'll go where I didn't do it. And then this is right there. So basically up like this where I just sprayed, so I haven't sprayed over there. So it gives you guys a little bit of seeing what's all going on. It's harder with the black, seeing everything, but um, yeah, it, it looks pretty good too. You can tell where I sprayed it, a little on there too. Um, we'll see how it all does going through the whole process. This thing is definitely really nice, I like this. It's a magnet, like again, 
on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Babel. Always adding new stuff on there. So, give it a little spray. One, two, so we'll start in that small section. Grab, because we don't want to go too crazy here. We want to make sure we're not controlled of where we're spraying it. So you can do the wavy motion. And it says to do it in another coat, so. All right, so we got that area. Look like anything's left. It's real easy. This would be, I'd have to say, if you were doing this on a boat, it might be a little bit of a time consuming process with, with doing it. But it's really not that hard to do. I think we can actually go a little bit faster. <laughs> I don't know how long the video will be if I'm showing all of it, but it's, it does move quite quick. So in those areas, I'm just going to wipe with the towel, as long as it's just graphic area. All right, so we're going to skip this area. That's where I did it. We'll come, we'll come back to it once I do that area again. Okay, we'll do it like that. That's kind of a small spot. So take this. You can tell it right there. It took up some like little scuff marks, and when you just hit it and stuff with the dock, stuff took it right off, too, which is nice. I just want to make sure you know you're spraying it in areas you can get to with uh, wiping it. So don't don't start just going somewhere where you know you, you can't reach. Wipe it here. This area is not really. All right. Now on to the next spot. That's what doing it. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drop this down, but probably in the next coat around that. So let's start working on the other side. And then we can do the lower. We'll go a little bit faster this time. One, two, three, four. I 
Mm-hmm. Where you see a lot of this glue residue is when you get the glue to the corners, this green, some of it came out and it's super glue and it's like never gonna come off the paint. I got it, it's a lot better than what it did look. It was terrible. It's definitely the super glue messed up and it was just like, oh man, what a mess. Seeing that that area has that kind of residue, what I'm going to do is use a whole new clean towel just because if anything's sharp on that from cleaning it, um, I don't know if towels will better be safe than sorry. And then when I come back around, I'll do that same towel on both sides. It's going to be sad with selling this thing. I really like this ski a lot. And uh, it's just, it's it's a hard area to ride here with the currents really strong in the intercoastal waterway in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But it's just, you know, already these things have what they call the death wobble. And it's like, it's not, there's certain parts of the intercoastal you just can't even stand up. But there's just, it's barely enough to even be kneeling, controlling it. And um, yeah. And then you got to then put that alone. Let's get to the fresh water. You have uh, alligators, bull sharks, and then when you go into the ocean, you have bull sharks, alligators, uh, great white sharks. <laughs> There's a lot of great white sharks. Actually, this is one spot that uh, there'll be a future video coming out with this soon. I took this thing twice in the ocean. And that spot of the ocean, I've seen great white sharks there multiple times. I found them in this little dinky stand up. It's the, the one time I was at dusk and it was just all those bait fish falling over. It's super scary. And uh, I see all these videos. There's this one from Hilton Head south here. They hooked a, on a fishing boat a great white shark. And oh, it's just scary when you see those things piling out of water. And you, it's like this thing's huge at the surface. And it, Water's kind of murky in the ocean. You don't even know what's there. It's kind of it's really freaky. Yeah, but I'll be sad on it. Because otherwise, if I live somewhere else, and the crazy thing is there's not hurt people all the time. So go to a lake. Well, the problem is the closest lakes by me are a couple hours away. And that's all south, and that's where the majority of that county is where all the there's been a lot of alligator attacks, actually fatalities from alligators in lakes that way. So it's even bigger stuff and it's tied in the ocean. Probably even be more dangerous. A lot of times alligators like to be in the deepest part of the water, which is kind of crazy. I've had a couple of run-ins with alligators with this. And I was doing practicing turns and this alligator started rising up from the center of the intercoastal right next to me. And this big gator and it went right me from like here, the head would be about like that big. Like almost half the ski was the head. And that's like, you're like, oh man, you don't want to fall off. It's just kind of freaky. They grab you and they pull you right under. So, yeah. It was fun when I took this in the Midwest. You fall in and you just laugh. You know, it's just I'm not going to take you out. Here it's like, a, it's probably the most riskiest thing right in the ski. All right, so we got the upper part. Well, let's what the heck on. Let's do a coat on the bottom. Uh, so we'll go one, two, three, four. And this will go a lot faster because it's not a lot. All right, so. Just want to make sure you get all of it. The hard thing is you're not going to fully get it all on this ski applying it because it's, it's on a trailer. So I'm probably only going to do the sides, not, not, not the lower part. Yeah, it's 
it's looking really sharp. And I think this will really help it being black. Uh, it just looking really sharp after after riding it. Yeah, this is just a lot of battle scars on this side. If you watch one of the videos, a dealer wrecked this, caused this, and a couple other ones are just from docks. So this is one of those things, it's no skis gonna be perfect when you put up the docks. I'll show you real quick over here, just my, my Yamaha. It looks super sharp, but when you get close up, you can just see all these battle marks. It's not a big deal. It's, to me, it's, I like stuff that has, so you can get a little in the back. Put a graphic over, it's not the end of the world. Some people are just really picky about that kind of stuff to me. It just gives it, gives it character. All right, so we're spraying one, two, three, four. It's crazy, all these different sponsors. I've, I've tried out two different ones. This will be my third. It's crazy how they're all positioned differently. And when I talk to a lot of companies, a lot of other products have never been tested to be in the conditions of like where I'm at. So it makes it a lot harder. So I'm hoping this JC Racing sponsors will be the ticket getting this thing to operate correctly. Also, when I, because I got this thing used, I've already fixed it, but it had an issue with the steering cable was bent. I just, a couple months ago, got that fixed. And I basically have not had this ski for um, almost a year. Be after Thanksgiving. So yeah, a couple weeks, I've had this thing for a year, which is kind of crazy to think. When I bought this, I only had a couple hours. Got a really good deal on it. And it's one of those things like, you know, it's everything's always for sale, the price is right. But it's again one of those things I don't want to sell, but uh, in life you only live once, so I like to live life on edge. So it would be depressing if it sells. Alright, so then enough of that, let's get into our next coat. Alright, so we're spraying one, two, three. I guess we'll just do it right there. We're doing just that. So like I said, we're just doing that small section there. So basically we're gonna tell them we'll stop using it. Alright, so we'll get into those areas. Now, I wouldn't spray this stuff like on the mat. I mean, you could. I mean, I don't leave it exposed in the sun. I mean, maybe in a future time I might try it because the material is a little bit different from the tray to the sides. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Today's video, I'm not going to be doing that. But maybe in another future video, I might do that. So I've already sprayed the back. On this side. Yeah, I'm hoping over time this like, and it has over time gotten some of this um, residue off. And this stuff, I had it all over my hands, because I, I and I think because I didn't have gloves on when I did it, it took forever to even get it off my hands. I couldn't even believe I got it off my hands. And that super glue on there. It's not a big deal. Alright, so here we're done with that towel. Now we can work on to the other part of the ski. Really, we're not spraying using a lot, so that's kind of nice. I'm not sure, I couldn't really tell you how much one of these bottles will last you because I'm doing it on a stand-up. Maybe the biggest thing we'll be seeing how, how it lasts is after I do it 
on um, the other ski too. I was looking at getting, like to do one of these videos with a sea dew and I was trying to hit up anybody local in Myrtle Beach once this video is uploaded. Cause I actually film as I'm jump. Usually my videos are a couple weeks ahead of this. Actually, when I'm filming this, it's actually going up the following day. So I got tons of videos that are uh, in front of this, but kind of it's a priority to get it out that I'm jumping ahead with how I do stuff. So if somebody sees this video, you are still in the time frame. Somebody local Myrtle Beach have like an RXPX, RXTX. Um, I'm looking to do this. I just need your ski for a day and um, get a free ceramic coating. So anybody from Myrtle Beach, there you go, hit me up, DM me on Instagram. I am underscore Beowulf. All right, so this, it does look really sharp. I can tell that it's, you can tell it shines a lot better and looks a lot better than when I was using the wax. I won't name what green wax I was using before. Um, but each their own what they want to do, you know? So we're going to spray the pole now. I'm just going to actually jump and do the next side. So this thing is a ride to ride. It does over like 60, over 65. It does just got a, a tune done to it. And, uh, yeah, this thing is, it's, 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 the faster you go is when you're like kneeling or uh, squatting on it. <laughs> to me, I, tell you, I like to get the speed up on it. And that's just the rush of this thing. Uh, laying down low riding it is um awesome the big thing is like if you're in an area where there's a lot of debris you really don't want to be standing up going full throttle i got a lot of debris where i live and uh you could probably go flying off and just keep crashing in a dock or something it's just safer you're going full speed to be you have more control and most people that race these would tell you the exact same thing because um, because if they're hitting a big wave, and they drop down. Basically, they're almost down low when they're riding. They're already like when they're um, racing. It would be cool to race one of these, um, but my skill level is not there. Where I would even say that I could do that. It would be cool. Be cool racing professionally sit down jet skis. Maybe in the future, once this whole everything going in the world kind of stops, maybe I'll pursue into doing something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because this is, the, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, kind of shows you how to do something like this. People, I get all the time, people like to see these how to videos. This video is getting pretty long. I was just looking at how much it's at, and it's but you know, I think it's, it's good to leave a lot of stuff in just in case somebody watches this and they're like, hey, what did you do here? What did you do there? And I know you guys will like it once I do, so I already did that. So I'm spray. I know you guys will like it when I do the one with the sit down jet ski. Plus, two will notice the difference because that's a lot brighter of a ski. So we're going to notice a lot more uh, details, probably with doing that with the balloon. So they do a gel coat with this process. 
on the Kawasaki, and then how they paint the Yamahas, that's automotive paint. So I'd be kind of curious to see how this stuff stuff works. Maybe I'll do a couple of videos with this stuff too. It says how you can do tiles and all that kind of stuff, make some stuff in the home. I don't know. Let's see how, let's see how bored I get uh, when I start shooting stuff like that. Uh, this player up. Probably people will find that kind of interesting. Uh, this is this didn't take that long as I thought it was gonna be. So this is my first time doing this. I've done a lot of detailing, and I've just I've been always wanting to try the ceramic coating. And when they sent it to me, I'm like, hey, this is be pretty cool. You know, I, actually, at one period of time, a long time ago, so it's been hmm, 18 years ago. Oh, what 18, 16, 18 years ago? Um. I had a detailing business on the side when I was professionally racing cars for a living. Um, when I wasn't doing that, because if you know, there's, you're not always so busy with doing that, you got some free time. So I would have a detailing business, you know, I would go to people's home, like come to you kind of thing. And actually, crazy thing, the detailing vehicle I had with that, I had a Subaru STI. So it was a 2004. So that gets an idea. So it was back in 2004, I was doing that for a couple of years. And then the racing business got so big. But I stopped doing that because I just didn't have the time. Um, yeah, but I had a Subaru STI. That, yeah, I had a big trunk, and that's what I was using the car with doing that. Yeah, this is looking good. All right, so we got all that wiped down. Let's make our way back to the bottom of the ski. As we go one, two, three, four. And also, too, you can tell I don't have a fan going on in here because I'm not wearing eye protection. You don't want to get the stuff in your eyes. So I don't have a fan on. I would recommend somebody wearing eye protection. I actually wouldn't be seeing what I'm doing. I don't feel like wearing eye protection. But if you're somebody first time or doing this, definitely. Wear the eye protection. Wear the good gloves. Don't do this without having gloves on. I would recommend to do having like a long sleeve shirt, possibly, but seeing that it's a little hot in my garage, it's not more stuff you're working. I feel like you're warmer, but it's, it's not hot. It's, you put out a little bit of a sweat. All right. Do a little wipe again, make sure we got all this perfect. All right, there we got that side. Fun, fun. Be interested in doing one of these products on my Ford Crown Vic P71. Ford is not known with that paint thing, it's pretty pit crappy in fields. It's got yeah, one of those paints. It, 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 it's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing with it, it's easy to paint it, repaint it yourself, where it's not some like this. You can't just like spray paint it because it's a gel coat. I know the do gel coat repair, um, but then you can easily, there's some paint correction paint. I had to touch up on that Crown Vex. I will be filming a video. But I'd be curious to see what this stuff would do if it protect it from it happening more. You know, I don't know. It'd be cool if they would if it's the same stuff or they send me out some stuff with the, test out some stuff with the cars, that'd be kind of cool. All right. I'll give a shout out too for the PWC doctor. Awesome drain plugs, a must on any ski, especially this. It, you take a little spill, you put on some water, it has a siphon pump, but it's in the center of the ski. So when you move it, it's just keeping all that weight in the rear. It makes the ski even harder to board up. Uh, it makes it actually impossible to get back on the ski. And that is really nice. And they're not that expensive. And uh, I'll hit him up. If you're looking for some drain plugs. All right. 
think we are all set. Pull out the light before I put away the rag. Just to make sure we got everywhere. Looks like we're good. I'm just gonna do a quick wipe on that. See how that yeah, so that's just terrible. So we'll set that there and uh, let's bust out the light and check this out real quick. Yeah, this, thing is real, this actually just came today. Really nice. Let's see how it works in the light. So put that on. Because I got these like super bright LED lights in here. Let's get a little precise. So we get to see what is all. Yeah, see? There's a little bit right there, so that's what's good to have in the light. You wouldn't have seen it. Otherwise, it's crazy. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. So this is a little bit discoloration because you put the salt away kind of stuff. And then that's when the water exit lines. So that's just going to be like that because it's using that that product. But uh, we're looking a little bit more room. Yeah, looking good underneath. Hole up in there. Yeah, that's like this magnet. Love it how it has a magnet. All right, let's see here. Uh, see, again, we got some right there, so same spot. It's kind of crazy. All right, got that wiped out. You definitely get one of these uh, lights in my Amazon store. You can do it again. Let's see. Yeah, that looks perfect. Looks perfect. Yeah, so I'm pulling out these sponsors. Actually, tomorrow I'm pulling them off and I'll put them up for sale. Gonna do a video talking about one case and whatever. And I hope in the next couple of days this comes, it's gonna have a little temperature drop so they can bust the wetsuit on and plan go. Probably first thing they're also riding this before going to the ocean, just seeing how it all rides. And now it'll just be totally crazy and just take it out in the ocean. Uh, so, special thanks to them, Hydrosilic. Uh, thanks for making this video possible. Check them out, uh, hydrosilic.com. The marine stuff, use CAPS code BAYWOLF, 40% off on all the marine stuff. I think it's ending at the end of this month, so definitely, uh, I don't, it may go longer, but I know that they were saying a date like the, almost at the end of so November. So check it out. If it's past November when you see this video, still put the code in and, um, Let's see if we, you guys want to try this stuff out because I'm definitely happy with it. So we didn't use a lot. See, we got a lot of uses of this, um, which is really nice. I'll have to say for the money with these is we hardly used any here. We didn't use a lot here. And we did the full entire ski. Um, we're doing this. And you probably do this every couple months or a year. Not as frequent. You would have to be doing it with wax. Um, but we'll see how this thing rides with it. You could be all totally crazy laying on there, doing all the areas, way in range. I think it'd be a little overkill. Plus, you got the bunks, so I mean, that's like, I don't even know how you'd be doing that. Uh, so, it's, you know, you do the sides, because technically you see the sides. This is a plus of having a single trailer. It's really easy getting into cleaning stuff. Uh, it looks super sharp. Really happy with the ski, really happy with the product. Cause I do tell it, you, it has a little bit more of a shine to it than what it had before. It was waxed before doing this. So we're not showing a product where the ski has not been waxed. It was waxed, like, like I said, a month and a half ago. And uh, this product, I have to say, I approve it. I'm one of those people, like I'm dead honest. If I had something I didn't like, I'm telling you guys, it's just who I am. I'm not somebody to just, you know, I'm an honest person. I really like this product. I think it really made a difference to the ski. So check them out. All caps Babel, 40% off. And again, this is the Hydrosilic Marine Ceramic Coating. And then this, you have to use this first. 
is the hydrosilic rewind. It'll be the wax and grease remover. So you first do this, then do that. It's nice to give you a little step by step, and then you get to watch the video. And they have other marine products. So if you want to try other stuff, this is the only stuff they sent for me to do a video on. I wanted to get a little bit more stuff, but this is what I got. So uh, washing stuff's kind of all the same, showing a video with that. I, I've done a video before with waxing a stand up, and now we got one with ceramic coating. And I think it'll be real nice with holding up with stuff, especially too. I take this thing out. I've been taking it twice to ocean. First box, I wasn't going to ocean ride it. And I'm just like, I'm that crazy. There's sharks that are dealt like three times the size of this. And I'm like, hey, I'm like the size of a seal, which up north on the East Coast, that's what they eat. Basically, the size of the seals. So I'm basically like a seal cruising around with a little stand up with some. Bright green, it definitely will be. I know when it's a sunny day, that'll reflect on and make the sharks go like, oh, it's like some uh, some type of big tuna. It's basically what it looks like. It looks like a, a giant, like a fish like creature, is what it kind of looks like. Actually, when you think about it, what an animal is like underwater, too. It gets, the, the, the sponsons give it the look of like it's uh, the fins in the back, or uh, the flippers. Uh, from a seal, that's <laughs> actually kind of what it is. Kind of like a giant seal you're riding around. Uh, or a, a mix of an orca. Uh, it's crazy too, I'll admit, off subject thing. So they use, in some areas, they use the sound of orcas and that scares away sharks. But then it attracts orcas, so. And I'll do a video buying something like that and we'll see maybe we can call in some orcas. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I had definitely a lot of fun. I'll probably do another video too with showing you guys how to use this product on a trailer. Then we got the next video, and I'm thinking I'm going to film this tomorrow. And then either have them back to back or have a different video, and then there'll be one coming with the whole GP thing. Sorry for the little mess. It's just, uh, I was organizing stuff, and I got to put this in my second garage. I'm going to set in my house. So I got to put that, and I got some stuff out to list or selling and all that. So I uh, got this area all nice and tidy. Got it. But, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf, or on my Facebook page. Make sure to subscribe to I am Beowulf and to Beowulf Nation to my free monthly giveaways, giving away Jet Tribe, Life Fest. Check out the I am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Also to check out my Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Peace out, Beowulf Nation.